ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Monday. It's the Sam Livecast. And um, I don't know. I guess I thought I had something better to say than that. But we're making muscles today. Yeah. Woo! Muscle. Oh, Max. <laughs> really? Well, okay. Moving on. Here they are. No, there's no moving on. Here they are. Look at Beautiful muscle. Now, you know what we need? You know what? Okay, I realized. A lot of shows, what they do is like, even if there's like five people sitting in the studio on a yeah. radio program, when something is introduced, they run like an applause track. And I understand when something that. Is I'm just saying that was, a bit, that was a bit insincere. You hate <laughs> muscles. Well, yes, I don't like them. But why? I'm excited why, to be why, here. Why? Why? I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Why? Texture. Are, do you not like texture? texture? Yeah. That's okay. A simple can we just thing. do this? Can we just have a yes. quick little muscle 101? Yes. Look, you buy muscles, and here's the thing: muscles are one of the greatest values. In the seafood world, I think. Yeah, because you get a ton of muscles for not a lot of money. But here's what you need to know. This is a cleaned muscle, right? Looks nice, there's nothing there, okay? When you get them, some of them have what's called Watch that guy close. Have you seen that? Max. Whoa, yeah. Okay, watch, I'll do this guy. You're abusing the oyster. Oh, this might muscles. not be the one. There's gonna be a good lesson here. I can't remember which one it is. Okay, check this guy out. Focus here, good. You see it open? Here's the lesson. If you get your muscles and they're open and you tap them and they don't close oh, like this guy, that means they're already dead. Oh. You don't want to eat that. Rest let's, in peace, let's try, let's try this guy. Hold on. Let me find a muscle in here that's open. Because they've been sitting a little bit. Okay, here this guy. Look. Give Max a chance to focus. Open a little bit. Watch. It's going? Kind of? It's going a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Pull back a little. There you go. Okay. Right? But so, see, these guys, have, they've all been jostled just recently. Uh oh. Meanwhile, I'm burning onion over here. <laughs> oh, beautiful red onion. So, I don't know if I can show you. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. So Kelly's aunt and uncle came over for, I didn't mean to say those names. People we know came over for <laughs> brunch the other day and I made a frittata in this. And I said, oh, if you want more, there's more frittata over there. When I came back a little bit Somebody later. Was scooping with something wait, no, sharp. No, 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 no. Oh my God. This is what I saw. I already know this. I already know what happened. A knife? This knife was sitting in like this. No way. And it put the camera on me. I just went like this. <gasps> is it scratched? This is, it was, it was the first time I'd used this. The first time. Oh no. Is it? Is it? There, there's two scratches, there's two slices in there. Damn. Not, not my family, Kelly's family. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on blast, man. Okay, look. Here's the deal. If a if a uh, muscle is open and it doesn't close up, it's already dead. Don't use it. Conversely, once you cook them, if it doesn't open up, it's dead. Don't use it. But the only other thing you really need to know about a muscle is that they have this thing here called a beard. Hi, Kel. Oh God, is it really called a beard? It is. It's a terrible term. And Jeez. look at it. Here's a really, I, I saved one that's like really severe. Oh no. Super Wait, oh. you're gonna put it there by the wood. No, go back. So what you have to do is you have to pull this off. And it's called deep bearding. Uh. It's called, ah! It's called what, Lynn? Deep bearding. Deep bearding, right. Oh God. I know, I'm sorry about that. It's what it is. Deep I think they need to come up with a better term. There's another, you know what? Deep bearding is also when a gay man comes out of the closet. Never mind. That was awkward. <laughs> All right. Let me, uh, now I'm going to add some garlic, right? So one clove in here. Max proved, chooses not to show it going in, but that's okay. So I've got uh, olive oil in here. I'm going to add a little butter. I know that looks like a lot of <laughs> butter. It's not. It just spread out. It just looks like most of your butter's melted already. Well, it was already soft. So I'm just going to let this get fragrant. You know I'm a fan 
of adding um, uh, garlic at the last minute. So these are going to be curry mussels. Oh, Beautiful yeah. curry mussels. So I've got uh, curry powder here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon, which looks is going to look like that. Boom. In it goes. Now we're just going to do this. We're going to mix it around. My heat is not crazy hot at this point. I just want this to go, oh my God, when it hits the heat, oh boy. Unbelievable. Is that crazy good. Delicious. Okay. Give it a second. Let me grab a little bit of wine. Look, at this point you could use wine or you could use vermouth. And my go-to is vermouth because it's shelf stable. It doesn't go bad. Um, you can open it up and then like three months later, you're still pouring it in and it's fine. Wine, you open it up and you got to use it within a day or so or it starts to go crappy. So vermouth is, and unless you're a full on gourmand with a palate like, I don't know, whose, you're not going to notice the difference between this and some white wine that you're going to use. It's going to give you all the benefits of it. And I know there's going to be people screaming at the, at the screen right now saying, no, that's just complete bullshit. Don't listen to Sam. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm trying to make food accessible. And by making you open a bottle of white wine every time you cook, unless you're going to drink it, I think you don't need to do that. Okay, so the curry's in here. It's gotten super fragrant. Uh, fragrant. Onion, garlic. We're going to give this like a, I don't know, a half a cup which is going to, let me do this, which looks like that, okay? Bring that to a boil, not going to take very long. Mix it around so we incorporate that vermouth with the curry. Oops, sorry. I'm getting that smell back. You're getting here. it back here, right? Yeah, yeah it I mean, smells back so here, good. back there, right? Woo. I like where this is going already, man. I don't think there's going to be any bad here. I mean, honestly, oh. we're. I mean, yeah, okay. I think you could take that, what's in that pot, and put it with almost anything, and it would be delicious. Yeah, except mussels for you, because you don't like this. So come on, let's put the mussels in. Come on, Max, let's put the yes, mussels in. You ready? Yep. In they go. Wow. So now. A little stir around. It's not so much at this point about. I mean, you're trying to you're trying to get a little bit of the flavor of what's going on in the mussels. But remember, right now the mussels aren't open, so it's not like a lot's going to go in. Lid goes on. Boom. boom. There you go. Four minutes is all this needs. I mean, you can give it five minutes. At that point, at four minutes, the mussel should have gone from this to this. <laughs> and if they haven't, they stay shut. Those are the ones when you pour it out that you don't want to eat. Let's do this. We take a quick break, right? You know, wait, let me tell you where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? No. December ah, 3rd, I think. Where? Going to Atlanta. Oh. What? For the opening of Perch Atlanta. No way. Baby. It's finally here. That's awesome. We did, uh, I did uh, Dallas a couple months ago. Now it's opening in Atlanta. Oh, Dear okay. everybody in Atlanta, please come to Perch. Come see me. I'll put the dates on my website. Figure out where they are. Let me just check my time. I'm coming, this. right? Um, no, you're not going anywhere. But Perch. <laughs> anywhere. No. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. No. They have an amazing grand opening. They have a huge party. Then the next day, I cook. I'm going to be cooking there with Ethan, the executive chef of all the perches. We'll be doing a, a pros versus Joe's kind of thing. We'll make things two different ways. His way, my way, tons of fun. Perch is a store like you've never seen before. Kitchen, bath, outdoor is what they say, but it's so much more than that. And really what makes it amazing is the way they present things, the, the displays that they have, the the... The venues, I don't know what the, the words are. What do you call like a fake kitchen? The vignettes. Vignette, thank you, the vignettes. That are, that are just ridiculous. And the customer service there, I'm, I, don't even, I don't even know where to go with that. Let's just put it this way. You walk in, they greet you, they offer you a handcrafted coffee. That's the beginning of it and that should say to you, oh, this is how it is. 
perch.com online. Check them out on Facebook. Follow them in your city, San Diego, uh, Costa Mesa, Glendale, California, Rancho Mirage, Dallas. And soon the dirty soon south. Soon to be Hotlanta, which won't be hot when we're there. Hotlanta. Yeah. Check them out because there's all kinds of cool cooking stuff there all the time and great events. All right, that's it. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We're going to finish off these guys. Boy, are they going to be good. Boy, are they going to be good. See you in a second. And here's what they look like. Whoa. Look how beautiful. Whoa. And look at, you see them open? Get a good shot in here. Like this guy, right? Open. Uh -oh. oh, open, open. It's perfect. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take them out. And I'm just going to throw them in this pot. Trying not to scratch my new pot. My mouth is watering pot, in. Like somebody scratched it. <laughs> I don't have to strain too much because whatever, uh, you see how I'm doing this? I'm going to get that liquid that's in there and just throw it back in. Because mm. I don't want to lose it because it's oh. really valuable and super delicious. We're about to thicken it up a little bit with one of the most, let me say natural. Look at what happens sometimes, the, the mussels are separated from their shells. And there's nothing wrong with that, that's all good. Okay, so we've got this, turn this down a little bit, just take this little bit of extra sauce. Important there, and just leave these guys like this for a second, okay. So now, this is on the heat. You can stay right there, Max. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna add. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you could add to it. I'm going to add a little cream. You know, you've seen me use cream before to thicken all kinds of stuff. Mmm. Interesting. Mmm. No. Fantastic. Curry and, and cream over goes here. together really well. Cream and what? Curry and cream. Yes. And now over here, some cilantro. That was a cool shot. Straight up and down. I love that. I know you do. Okay. If only it wasn't so hard on my arms. <laughs> I know. So now come over Look back over here. <laughs> come back over here. We'll just dump some in here. Now we're going to season it. Would you say, Lynn? Fresh. Nice, right? Yeah. Uh, salt and pepper. Salt. Damn. Yeah, see, you're gonna like Damn. this. Damn. Just let this do its thing. We're not trying to turn this into like a thick soup because that wouldn't be necessary. If I had uh, coconut uh, milk right now, I could add some coconut milk to this and just add to the whole flavor, flavor profile, it would be outstanding. So these guys are ready. Yo, I have a quick question. Yeah. If you buy mussels at the store, yeah. how long can you keep them in your fridge for? Uh, I think you can keep them in your fridge for one day. I wouldn't do it any more than that. Got it. I think you're, you're fine for a day, but I would ask your fishmonger. So now bring these over here. This is good. Ask your local fishmonger. Right. And by the way, these came from uh, Catalina. Oh, I went and saw I went and saw Tommy. If you didn't watch those episodes that week that we had Tommy here, uh, just go back. Type in Catalina and he'll show up. And we made fish tacos that week. Mm. Okay, good. Here's what we do. Wow. Oh, great! Look how beautiful. Check it out. Those are amazing. Lynn, you should come take a picture of this. Oh, yeah. Should you while it's steaming? Yeah. It's yeah. not going to work. We're no. not going to have the steam, right? We won't have enough time. Okay. No sweat. You want to add a little extra cilantro on top of it? Boom, like this. Nice. I'm telling you, for the money, look at this guy. Keep it soft. 
Boom. Look at the gentle little bit of yellow color that he's picked up from the curry. Oh, shit. A little bit of the vermouth in there. The onion, the whole, like, deal is ridiculous. It smells unbelievably it's good right so now. It's so good. Oh. Uh oh, oh no. Where'd he go? He got away. I got him. All right. I want you to make mussels. I really want you to make mussels because I love them. They're easy and they're really fun to serve. That's it. That's the beginning of this new week. Uh, see you again Wednesday when we make something else that's uber delicious. Hell yeah. Simple and uber delicious because that's what we do. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you again. Tell your friends. Goodbye.